but not before getting it inside the 35. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. This is Harris. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Second down and three. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now they'll throw it with Wilson, escaping the pressure right. He'll have a first down inside the 10, and he'll finally be taken down at the two-yard line. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. Harris. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. Damian Harris, his 21st touchdown of the season. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. you got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Flushed out right. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They are back over the 500 mark for the season. Got there with a win a week ago, their second straight victory. Well, they've definitely gotten better as this season has gone along. And from what I can tell, they know their roles. Everyone understands how they fit offensively, defensively. And this team now has an identity, and they're playing to it and playing well. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Watch the 
Working out of the gun. Love. It's complete. It's Miller. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Here's Love. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of players they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Love now. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Lions on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Love from the gun. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. So here are the Browns to take over. They've got the lead right now, and remember, they are riding that very impressive seven-game winning streak, trying to push it to eight. Play action with Wilson. This one caught by Kittle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. No play, no that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Harris. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet. He could make a play just as he did there. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Wilson's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play that time through the air. 32 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They run with Harris. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone, following a pickup of about seven or eight. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. George Kittle is 11th touchdown of the year. And the Browns add six to their lead. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way. 
Austin McGinnis out for the extra point. And oh, he clanks it off the right upright, and it's no good. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Takes it at the seven. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. First down, love to pass. This will go to Henry out wide. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. To pass, here's Jordan Love. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and 10 here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. It's his target, the tight end, Mo Alley Cox. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. It's the veteran K.J. Wright, the disruptive force. The competition comes up in so many different ways, and right now, this unit, their competition is who's going to get to the quarterback the most times. Had about five sacks last week. We just saw their first one of this game. the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It'll be a gain of three on what should be the final play of this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. Let's see what's going on around the NFL. We'll get our tour started out at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. And in the second quarter, it's the Bears who are out in front. Number three overall pick, Trey Lance, the rookie, with a couple of touchdown passes. From there, we head east to check on the Bills at home in Buffalo. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Robert Woods, a touchdown reception. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And for the moment, they trail the visiting Saints in that one. Michael Thomas, a touchdown reception. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half for the answer?